Um, behind closed doors is an exhibition that's about buildings. It's not about architecture, it's not about how buildings are designed or how they look, but it's really about what happens to buildings when we live in them and work with them and when they get destroyed or damaged or the way in which they become part of our lives. Um, all of the works in the exhibition are made in the last two years, so it's very contemporary, apart from two pieces um, which were made almost 30, nearly 40 years previously. Um, the two pieces in question are by Dan Graham and Hans Hackett, and both of them are uh, pivotal, really, in the development of a lot of the ideas in the exhibition. Together, all the artists in the exhibition look at very different aspects of buildings. Some of them are domestic some of them are corporate headquarters. Uh, some of the works really look at the materials that buildings are made of and the sort of implications they have. Uh, my name is Vangelis Vlachos and I'm, I am from Athens, Greece. I'm presenting two pieces. Uh, the first piece is based on a terrorist attack against the American embassy in Athens in 1996. And it consists of uh, a model that uh, reconstructs uh, the terrorist attack and uh, an archive that details uh, the history of the building from its very beginning to the most current events. And the title of the first project is uh, Buildings that Proclaim a Nation's Identity Should Not Be Misunderstood. Um, has to do with uh, the role of the US Embassy in its, in its country and uh, in a way develops uh, the role of the building of the embassy in a city. Let's say the particular embassy in Athens was, was designed uh, by Gropius in the uh, late 50s and it used to be an open building, a glass building, but uh, uh, now because they have built a, a very big huge fence around the building, you can see the building, so uh, you know the, its first role to be an open and accessible building is, ha, has been uh, rejected in a way. Okay, the title of the uh, second project is New Market Require New Structures and is based on four buildings, four high-rise buildings from Eastern Europe and uh, why the, the, uh, from, actually from Warsaw uh, Yugoslavia, Athens, and uh, uh, Prague. Uh, and they were built uh, while the countries were other communism, uh, but the style of the buildings is very much close to the American model of skyscrapers. And uh, the particular building used to be stained state-owned buildings, but uh, now, uh, after the fall of communism, uh, they are full administrative buildings with many uh, foreign companies uh, using the building as their base. So what I did was to record uh, the tenants of the buildings and in a way to show the former use of the buildings and the current use of the buildings in order to show the social and the political changes uh, to the particular countries. That's all. Hi, I'm Monica Bonvicini and I'm coming, well, originally from Italy, but I've been living since a long time in Berlin. And uh, this is the work, Stonewall, number three, that I did uh, in 2002. Mm. It's a work that is related to a certain kind of uh, public architecture, something that I like to call uh, state architecture, but it could also be called uh, police architecture. And it was, um, I came up with the idea of the piece um, after the G8 meeting in Genova, I think it was in 2000. And I think that the work is getting more and more um, yeah, meaning because of what happened in, uh, yeah, after the 11th of September and um, what is happening anyway right now. It is a work that was also related to some works of Katie Noland, which, uh, who is an artist I really, really 
respect and like, but I wanted to take away a little bit this um, um, feeling of angst or of fear that you have or that she used to have in her sculptures, in her Gates sculptures. And I wanted to do a sort of gate that is a little bit more um, housewife alike, uh, through the knots, uh, chains, and uh, it's a little bit more anarchistic. It's a gate, but you can go through. It's a gate, but you can break it. And um, yeah, and the uh, graffiti. It's uh, the beginning of a s poster that uh, Brennan Chumi did in '75. He did a series of yeah posters related to architecture and body. I would say. And um, yeah, I cut the quotation off. I mean, it's only the part that I was interested in. Um, my name is Hiraki Sawa, and uh, originally from Japan, then now live and work in England, London. I'm exhibiting the work called Dwelling, which is about airplane cruising around my f flat where I used to live. And uh, that kind of simply just idea is about just transform the kind of outside world into my flat, then just enjoying it myself. That is, that is originally I, I started working, working. Then the other piece is called Elsewhere, which is like a domestic object walking around my flat while I was away. <laughs> so don't know that it's based on, that is also my flat, but the idea is when I was away from my flat, maybe things moving. Because that when, when, I, did, when I made that work, I lived in basement flat which doesn't have any window. There's just doorway. So then I couldn't see and then normally I stayed in my flat and I didn't go out. Like only time I go out was just get food from outside. So when I stayed in that basement I couldn't really know what happened in outside the world. So Again, I just, I, I just transferred idea. If, if I was away, nobody knows about that space inside, kind of beyond the wall, and you know, people never know what's happened in the other side. And yeah, that's, that, that's the idea. I made that work. I've just been fascinating about I, because my work is always works. I've been fascinating like a beyond something or between something. The kind of environment or something in between something and something. There's a something 